Hello again from Nana Flodge and welcome to another episode of Cooking with Me, Karin, here in our kitchen. Uh, today we're going to tackle pimento cheese. Shelly and I had the opportunity to travel to Virginia. We've traveled in the South quite a bit, but we had a, a really nice trip in the uh, fall of 2020. We were itching to go somewhere during COVID. We were supposed to go to Vermont and New England and see the fall colors, but they were still quarantining travelers. Um, and Virginia was not. So we, our nephew Ben lives in Washington, D.C. So we thought, well, we'll go there and then we'll start to go outside of Virginia. we had been to D.C. several times, but never really explored the rest of the state. So we stayed with Ben for a night and then we spent the first half of our week uh, down in Williamsburg. Um, and then the second half of our week over in the Blue Ridge Mountains. And God, it was spectacular. The fall colors were wonderful and we had a great time. But what struck me is almost every restaurant we went into had some form of pimento cheese on their menu. It was spread on a sandwich or a burger. It was used as a dip. It was scrambled into eggs for breakfast. Um, and it was just, it was fantastic. And so I started thinking about how do we do this? And it's super simple. Let's show you today how to make pimento cheese and then you can use it for whatever you want to. So pimento cheese at its core is pimentos. And some cream cheese, some cheddar cheese, and some mayonnaise. And then it goes from there in a lot of different directions. I'm gonna simply use granulated garlic and uh, onion powder with a little bit of salt and pepper and keep it simple. But if you like it a little spicier, you can chop up some jalapenos in there. I've seen people put olives in there for a little bit of saltiness. Um, it really is a, just paint it however you want, um, as long as you start with the basic ingredients. And it's so simple, you're just, we're just gonna mix it all together, um, which is great. And we see this all over in Tennessee and Virginia and Georgia and all sorts of it, southern places. Somehow the South has just embraced pimento cheese. You go to the grocery store and buy tubs of pimento cheese all over in the South. But it actually originated uh, in New York. When I started researching the history for pimento cheese, I went, well, how did that come to be? It was actually made in uh, New York in the beginning of time, like in the 30s or something, it was a mixture to put into cream cheese. And from there, somehow, it gravitated its way to the South and has just become an ubiquitous Southern dip, spread, uh, cracker, topping, whatever you want to make it. Uh, but as I said, simple ingredients, mayo, pimentos, cream cheese, cheddar cheese, salt, pepper, a little bit of garlic and onion. Okay, we've got everything prepped, ready to go. The cream cheese has been cubed up and it's uh, sitting at room temperature so it's soft and mix in. I drained the roasted red peppers or the pimentos out of a jar. Got the mayo, the cheddar cheese. Now these are actually, Tillamook makes them, they're called farmhouse or farmstead cheddar cheese shreds. They're pretty big. Uh, you can use any kind of shredded cheddar cheese you want. If you get some of the stuff that's a little bit finer, um, that is better for tacos, it's just gonna make more of a smooth dip. Uh, we have this cheddar cheese always in the house, um, and it actually makes kind of a dip that's got a little bit more texture and a little bit more uh, chunkiness to it, which I kind of like. So we're going to use that. Salt and pepper and the garlic and the onion. And we're literally just going to dump everything into a bowl and mix it up. Right, we've got our delicious, simple, easy to make pimento cheese right here. It's good to go. Uh, if you want to garnish it with something, you can just sprinkle some green onions or some chives on there, or you could mix those in. Uh, you could uh, put a dash of cayenne in there if you want some spice. I said jalapenos earlier. You can also put a little hot sauce in there if you want it zippier or spicier. I simply serve mine with some Ritz crackers, um, but it also, any leftovers make a great addition to some mac and cheese or spread on a turkey sandwich instead of mayo and Swiss cheese. So versatile, so many things you can do. Or it can just be a happy hour snack with a little bit of wine. 
Cheers. Thanks for tuning in to Cooking at Nano Lodge and learning how to make pimento cheese.